What's up everybody, Joel here for Safe 48 Exotics and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to invest all of those millions of dollars you just won on the lottery. Uh, obviously reptile edition, right? We, uh, we of course need to go to uh, Morph Market because why wouldn't we? This this is this is the website that if you're ready to spend some scrilla on some snakes, you need to go to. This is this website right here, morphmarket.com, has I feel like changed the entire environment of what the ball python market is, and honestly the reptile market. I mean, not only do they have ball pythons here, but we have carpet pythons, green tree pythons, reticulated pythons. I mean, there's just the list goes on here um, all the way down into lizards geckos um, your big lizards your turtles tortoises they even have crocodilians on here this is this is the marketplace for all that is reptiles i would say dang near every single gene that's out there right now is on morph market and then you can customize your search up here we can go from sex we can go male female uh age sub adult adult blah 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 like this is this is awesome you know you can put in your traits punch in clown it pulls up right here we got some different options that can really go from there um yeah geez like morph market that's that's the way to roll so yeah we're talking lottery winnings right so like if we're if we're doing lottery winnings you go over here to this drop down menu and you click most expensive right off the bat because why wouldn't you <laughs> okay and when we do that most expensive list obviously you know we're gonna get our stranger our stranger clown pop right up and th this is set at inquire you know, uh, we have lottery winnings on our side. We don't care what Inquire, Inquire says. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. This this snake is ours. Uh, Stranger is like one of the hottest genes out right now. I feel like especially in clown combos, uh, a ton has been done with it overseas. I believe it's in the Netherlands. Yeah, they've done so much with it. It's such a cool gene. I, I would I would love to have this uh, have this in my uh, in my group. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but with that, you know, uh, Cypress, the Cypress Batman, this snake is bonkers. Like, check that out. Like, the blushings that come into this snake, you gotta have it. You just, you just gotta have, you gotta have Cypress and Clown. And Batman, I mean, that's like, that's like one of the most recognized clown combos out right now. You know, I feel like that, that's something that you, you're gonna really need. So, we got our Stranger, which is set at Inquire. Um, <laughs> Which I feel like with the Inquire price tag, we're looking at anywhere from probably like 15k to maybe even 20k with that particular animal there. And then from there, got to pick up our our clown pieds. And right here from Royal Constrictor Designs, this killer clown pied. You know, that's two cases of pastel laid on there. So we got our super. Uh, we'll never get a normal snake out of this. You know, obviously we <laughs> never get a normal snake out of this anyways, because everything we breed to at a minimum would be het for clown and het for pied. Uh, so that that's a great animal gravel pastel I don't know gravel like gravel is such a cool gene and to know that that is gravel over yellow belly that that's a pretty powerful animal in itself uh, so let's just go ahead and take this whole top row <laughs> I mean why not um, pastel leopard clown gotta have it gotta have this snake right here this this is a this is a no-brainer um, fire highway clown that's a no-brainer to me too a female inchy banana clown like just to get the females is such a big deal uh in this banana gene and so that's that's a really powerful snake gotta snag that too um and then moving right down you know get into some newer stuff with art here uh we got our trident clowns uh this is a really really cool gene i feel like it's kind of out right now uh these trident clowns are just really really wicked looking like you know, this is the trident clown at its base. Like, look at the look at the intricacies of this pattern right here. It's a broken up. We're getting our speckling down the side. Like that. That's a cool animal. Got to snag that from art. Um, moving down the list, red stripe clown, pretty critical for making a lot of advanced combos. We'll go ahead and pick that snake up too. Uh, we got our GHI clown firefly black pastel from Mr. Will Banks. Uh, right there. Got to have that snake. And I will say right here. You know, I, I wanted to jump over here because we got this Motley Clown. I'm a big fan of the Motley Clown. We got those. Now, you know, we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to jump over to Sunsets because why wouldn't we? So we got our Pastel Sunset, we got our Pinstripe Sunset, and we got our Cinnamon Sunset. Um, to me, 
I really, really like this Cine Sunset. I think that's probably one of the coolest just combos that Sunset is out with right now. I would for sure pick up this Cinnamon Sunset Girl. And uh, as you can see right there, that $25,000 price tag, you know, that's 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 a chunk of change right there. Um, got to get a mail. So we got our Pinstripe Sunset mail. And Pastel, I think Pastel gets a bad rap. Um, but Pastel, I think, does some really cool stuff in Sunset. And I've seen some Pastel Sunsets in person. And they are really, really pretty. And it really brings out a lot of the colors of what Sunset is. So... Let's just take them all, right? We're just gonna go ahead and take those all because we really want our Sunset Project to take off. You know, that that I feel like the Sunset Project is a really cool thing. It's obviously extremely expensive, so I, you know, not everybody can get into this. And I think there's a lot more that will be done in the very, very near future with this project. So pretty, pretty excited, you know, to spend some of our uh, million dollar lotto winnings on this animals right, or on these animals right here. Um, and without further ado, you know we got to get into the Desert Ghost. With that, we don't have any Xanthic stuff. We might as well jump into that Xanthic Black Pastel. Because of course we're going to jump right into the most expensive <laughs> offered right now. So this this uh, VPI Black a black Pastel Xanthic. That's, this snake is going to look this color for the rest of its life. That's a killer snake right there. And chocolate. we got to bring chocolate into our program. Everybody likes chocolate, right? So we got we to gotta get chocolate into our desert ghosts, and then that will obviously go into our clown projects because, you know, with all these snakes here, you know, we got our sunsets, we got our clowns, we got our desert ghosts, all of these snakes. We're going to need to bring all these genes together because what we're doing here is, is we're building, we're building obviously a highly expensive uh, group of animals, but we're also building what, what is going to be innovation. And the innovation we're going to get out of getting, you know, a sunset, clown motley desert ghost chocolate inchy is just that silly right gotta have orange dream we gotta have it it's pretty similar to our uh our uh actually gotta have it here the male desert ghost ghi gotta get into the puzzle project and we gotta get into it hard so we can really bring out what the puzzle project can really do and with that you know from cornballs here the pastel puzzles both of these pastel puzzles are perfect. They're they are so pretty. Um, this super pastel banana. This is a really, really, really cool looking snake to me. I, I, I was looking at this earlier. This snake is gorgeous. I really like what banana does in puzzle. I think I think it's you know one of those really cool things like the how it how it makes this almost like brick-like pattern down the back. That's that's a really 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 cool animal. So I definitely want to pick up this male right here. That'll that'll be a pretty big powerhouse male. You know, you're taking this male and you're putting that into your clown, you're putting that into your sunsets, and you're putting that into your desert ghosts, and we're mixing all those together and we're gonna make some, you know, six, seven years from now, we're gonna make some just killer, killer animals. Y'all know I like pieds. Um, this graffiti pied, which is a uh, I believe this is a super paint. Uh, this is one of the more unique looking pieds, and with our money, why wouldn't we bring this girl home? So that graffiti pied, I think, is uh, somewhere you need to be. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I uh, I don't have any candy in my project, so we got our chocolate. We're gonna need our candy, so we're gonna have to snag this candy pie from 818. Um, that's that's gonna have to be have to be a must. That that's a really cool project. Um, and it's right there with uh, our dream sickle. Um, but if we're going to get a dream sickle, we need to pick up this lavender pinstripe dream sickle because pinstripe is going to give us those low white pieds and really make that dream sickle pattern. Just look at the orange on that. That that's orange right there. That is an orange snake. So we're going to have to snag her. Obviously, we've got, we've already picked up this pastel leopard clown. We got our orange dream leopard from Ozzy, and we got this graffiti right off the bat. We got a lot of females coming at us right now. Orange Dream. Orange Dream right here. This snake is gorgeous. Orange Dream, Orange Ghost, Pied. That's all I have to say. That's really all I have to say. That right there. We got to snag her. We got to snag her. There's going to be other stuff that's coming into play. So we're going to have to jump over to Freedom Breeder. Because now we have to get our rack systems all dialed in. And for me, the rack system that I have, and I get I guess asked this quite a bit, is what rack do I have? This is the rack I have right here. 
This is their uh, the Reptile, obviously the Reptile Rack. The 082480Ws, the 80 windows. I just can't say enough about it. I love having the windows. I love seeing where my snakes are at. Uh, it gives me an insight when I'm going into feeding at night. Who is at the front of the cage? Who's wanting food that night? Who, who's, you know, I don't know. I just, it just gives me, it gives me obviously the window. That's what it's there for, right? So we have the window there so that we can actually see our animals as opposed to a lot of racks that, you know, that don't have the windows. Um, this just helps out, you know, I don't have to slide the tub open or mess with them too much to see, you know, who's at the front of the gauge, who's at the back, who's maybe bull wrapping. Also with this rack system, uh, the height of the rack or the tub, I guess I'd say, is a little bit taller than the, the, the 70 tubs which uh, allows you to you know put a hide in there it allows for you know your females to be a little bit more comfortable uh, especially when you're in breeding season you have a male on top of the female it just gives them a little more room to work we're definitely going to have to pick up two or three of these but then outside of that we are going to have to pick up some baby racks so why wouldn't we do that so we got our baby racks here this 157510 this is uh this is exactly what i would use for the baby racks and beyond that maybe we can get our uh, grow out tubs going this would be kind of a cool thing maybe for our smaller males our grow out females and our sub adults and so now we got our racks we got our cages we're gonna need somewhere to go so right here i went ahead and i found us a uh, industrial building right here on uh, roosevelt street here in uh, tempe arizona uh three million dollars duh no brainer how cool could we design our logo on the front of that window and build just an amazing thing right here. So we got 24,000 square feet. Uh, we're gonna be able to park our uh, Sprinter that we're gonna have to buy so we can go to the reptile shows with all of our animals and travel in comfort. Uh, the Sprinter will pull right in here. Uh, we got this back area here. We got a loading dock, all the Repti chip we're gonna be buying. Um, come right up, drop that thing off. And with that, also, one thing I forgot to forgot to really mention here is we ain't just gonna be getting bow pythons. We're gonna pick up some monitors because these right here are amazing. These are amazing animals. And you know who we're gonna get our Varanus from. We're gonna pick them up from Nerd and we gotta have our Black Dragon. Like that's, that's a dream animal. And if I win the lottery, I'll tell you what, that that's gonna be in there. And All right, everybody. So obviously if you won the lottery and, and you have like $60 million, um, you could do anything you want with that money, right? You, you could buy that entire morph market list. The, you know, the point of that, that video kind of is, is that there's, there's more that goes into this than just the snakes. You know, there's, there's your rack systems, there's your thermostats, there's your, your floor space, where, where you can house all these animals, uh, your bedding material, feeding bills, like all of that comes into play when, when you're starting one of these, you know, reptile businesses, let's say. Um, but even if you're not looking for the reptile business or anything like that, you still have to consider all of those things just for the pet, you know, just, just to keep the animal safe and sound and happy and, and eating and feeding and healthy and all that. Like there is, there is so much more that goes into this other than just purchasing the snake. And so obviously some of those snakes were really expensive and it's a question I get asked kind of often uh, is, is what makes the value of these snakes, those really high-end snakes. You know, you're talking about years and years and years of these people's lives that they've, they've put into these projects and, and that is a lot of where the value comes from. You know, you, you're getting these triple and double recessive projects with incomplete dominant traits and co-dominant traits all just put on top of it and it's just like, that sets people back years to make those projects. And so you're paying for their time also. It's it's not this, exactly the snake that has that value, it's the time that goes into that snake that has that value. So I don't know everybody, just a little bit of a mini rant here for uh, today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it, was, it was kind of fun to make it, seeing all those snakes and really what you could do with just a lot of money, <laughs> right? But thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you're new here, we'd love to have you stick around. Jump down there, hit that subscribe button, maybe a thumbs up if you, uh, if you have a couple seconds. And until next time, we'll see you all there.